Hi everyone, this is Tammy at TammySkinner.com. I just wanted to bring a quick little project to you this morning and I'm going to be using my new Cricut Mini. So along with the Cricut Mini, I'll be designing in Cricut Craft Room, which is right here. And I wanted to show you how in Cricut Craft Room you choose your cartridges. So I like how the Cricut Craft Room is set up where you have an overlay option, which we're used to seeing everything looking like this with the overlay and having all the icons there and then our creative features off to the left. Um, but you can also look at it at an image view, which is really cool. And when you do the image view, you can bring this bar by grabbing it with your cursor all the way up. And look at that, it just fills your screen with all the images that you can see on each of the cartridges. So that's going to make it a lot easier um, as far as finding images on the different cartridges and trying to see what, you know, to know what you're looking at, that type of thing. So I'm going to pull this down, go back to my overlay feature, because when I'm in my overlay feature, um, I have a search library that I can do right here. Now I can go up here and choose the type of cartridge that I want. You can see it says all types. There's uh, Cricut Craft Room exclusives, Ooh. and Cricut Cake, and events. We've got Cricut Lights, Seasonals, all of them are in here. There's even a wish list down here at the bottom that you can click on if you go in and play with the cartridge and you like it. You can click on it and put it in your wish list so that you'll know next time you want to purchase a cartridge, you'll know what you want. Um, we are going to choose a Cricut Everyday one. I'm actually looking for Pack Your Bags. I have a lot of scrapbooking to do with this particular cartridge. So there, Pack Your Bags and when I choose it, it brings up that overlay. Now I also like how when you just take the cursor and you scroll over the keys, you can actually see the images in a preview pane right above it. You don't have to hold anything down or click on anything. It just automatically shows that to you. So the image that we're looking for today is this cute little crab. Now I'm going to grab that crab and click on him and add him, as you can see, to my Cricut Mini Mat. Now the Cricut Mini Mat is 12 inches by 8.5 inches. So a little different. The mini is going to be between the baby bug and the Cricut exclusive as far as size, which is really good because I think 8.5 inches really gives you a lot of flexibility. So there's my first layer for my crab. And since he is a layered guy, I'm going to do my shift and do the second layer. Go up here and move him over. Okay. And then I'm going to go shift off, go to my layer one and catch that layer. There we go, and then I'm going to move that over. Okay, do my shift. Okay, catch that layer, move that down, turn my shift off. I click on layer two catch that layer and move it over and then do shift up oh, and there's no more layers so for the crab you can tell that there's five pieces in order to layer this particular crab together he's really cute too so with those five pieces I know all my layers are together just because they should be all under the same key I get a lot of questions from people who ask all the time how do you know where all your layers are and what goes to what and that's how it, it should all be together under one key and you just use your creative features to grab them all and don't forget to shift on each one to see what's in those place, spaces so there we go with my, my crab I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything ready put them together and show you a little bit later bye